What if I told you all these quotes are actually 2020 Democratic candidates quotes? Uh. All right, guys, it's your boy here. Make America great again. Trump 2020. Just got to throw that out there. So I'll uh, give you a little background on this video real quick. It's typically a man going through different college campuses. Now, not covering every college in the world, but giving us a leftist look or what these young people are thinking about. And he's talking about different quotes and statements that are made and implying that they're made by Trump and the reaction of the students are they are racist, bad policy. But they come to find out that these statements are made by Biden, Warren, Obama, and others in the Democratic Party. And let's see if that changes their mind on what they're thinking and who they might be voting for. So, with no further ado, check out the vid. But what they don't know is that all the quotes are actually from 2020 Democratic candidates for president. Will that change their mind? Let's find out. The White House released a, an early transcript of the State of the Union. Going to get your reaction to a few of the more controversial quotes. Okay. Talking to black voters, trying to win their support, saying, quote, the other side is going to put you all back in chains. Uh, what do you think of that one? That's inappropriate. That should not be spoken like that. I mean, I think that's just flat out racist. Nah, that's pretty horrendous. We should get a new president, probably. We okay. shouldn't have like someone like that as like a role model for kids. I don't think anyone is trying to do that. Talking about North Korea, this administration's success will be judged on whether we can eliminate North Korea's nuclear weapons and verify they're gone once and for all. Well, um, that sounds very threatening, um, as if we're going to be executing him completely. That it's warmongering, and I also think that there's other things to focus on with North Korea than just nuclear weapons. I think it would be warmongering, but also it's just like a part of his rhetoric to like assert dominance and like assert American exceptionalism, things like that. So it doesn't really surprise me that he said something like that. Knowing him, he's very like irrational. And yeah, I'd say slightly inaccurate. Next up, talking about inner city violence and gun violence, saying, quote, those kids think they're going to get killed anyway because all their friends are getting killed. They just don't have any long term focus or anything. It's a joke to have a gun. It's a joke to pull the trigger to them. Yeah. So, I mean, he's saying that because these are communities of people of color. It's just it's not even it's not even veiled racism. It's just racism. Mm -hmm. That's flat out ridiculous and very just not appropriate language, I feel like. Oh, what? <laughs> I think that's pretty um, unrealistic. To kind of put all the blame for gun violence on those kids and not the people who are manufacturing them and the people who are selling them is uh, an issue in and of itself. I feel like that's really belittling to the people in those areas to say, oh, they don't care, when there are many people who are trying to better their situation. Next up, talking about Israel-Palestine, obviously hot button issue for a lot of people. Quote, uh, when Palestine and Hamas put rocket launchers next to hospitals and schools, they're using civilians to protect their military. I believe Israel has a right at that point to defend itself. What's your take? Uh, I think he needs to use more peaceful language, and I think it needs to be taken care of in a more peaceful, diplomatic way. I'm very pacifist, so I really don't support war, so I don't support any of that at all. Using that kind of language is very charged. He has Israel all messed up. I mean, and, and a lot of people do, but him especially. I mean, Israel isn't the one that we should be backing at all. What if I told you all these quotes are actually 2020 Democratic candidates quotes? Oh, I would believe you. <laughs> they are. Interesting. Is that surprising? Uh, mm, yeah. These are actually all quotes from Democratic candidates in oh, 2020. Oh, interesting. What Fun. do you think of that? Um, I don't know. What if I told you these are actually all quotes from Joe Biden, Elizabeth oh, Warren, really? and other Democrat candidates. Who said the, who said the, um, the chains one? Joe Biden. Joe Biden said that. Yeah. I did not know that they said that. The in chains one, uh, it makes more sense in that context now. Um, and whoever said that, like that is uh, concerning and not something that's Joe Biden. agree with. Not shocking. <laughs> Are you surprised by that, by the quotes? What's your take on that? Yeah. I think that um, everybody kind of I feel like everyone's a hypocrite at some point, a little bit. We label, like, who has these thoughts, and, like, if you're a Democrat, you should think this way, and, like, if you're a Republican, you think a certain way. Um, but I think sometimes there are overlapping beliefs that we kind of overlook. But I think that initially I'm like, oh, he said it? Like, let me find something bad about it. So, yeah, I think that is fair. Twitter informs a lot of my 
political decisions. I mean, and Twitter informs a lot of my decisions, mm -hmm. period. Twitter is great, I love Twitter, but it's definitely radicalized me to the left a lot more than I think that I was. I mean, it's all stuff that we kind of associate with the other side, at least. From my understanding, again, the school is mostly liberal. Yeah, I think often some people would look at what you just said and say, like, oh, my candidate didn't say that, or, you know, like, they would never have done that in the past. But I think that, like, everyone's opinion has changed, and, like, everybody says questionable things now and then, and I think that um, it's beneficial to accept that. I think people are very, like, okay, if it's what this person is saying, I'm going to find a way to make it bad, and if it's someone that I want to support, then maybe I can find a way to...